Exercise 1.1 For most gases at its standard or nearest standard conditions, the relationship among pressure, density, and temperature is given by the perfect gas equation of a state. Pressure is equal to density multiplied by R, where R is the specific gas constant, multiplied by its temperature. Always in Kelvin, for when we want to use this equation. For air at near standard conditions, R is equal to 287 joules per kilogram Kelvin in the International System of Units, and R is equal to 1,716 feet multiplied by pounds per slug multiplied by ranking degrees in the English Engineering System of Units. More details on the perfect gas equation of a state are given in Chapter 7. Using the above information, consider the following two cases. So what we're going to do is we're going to read, for example, A, solve it, and then we're going to read B, and then solve it. A. At a given point on the wing of a point two, uh, sorry, 7 to 7, the pressure and temperature of the air are 1.9 times 10 to the 4th power, Newton per square meters, and 203 Kelvin, respectively. Calculate the density at this point. So they are telling me that I have an equation, the perfect gas equation of a state, specifically, which is given by the pressure, density, the constant R, um, and the temperature. They are telling me the pressure, which is 1.9 times 10 to the 4th power Newton square meter. They are given to me as well the temperature, which is equal to 203 Kelvin. They are given to me the constant R, which is equal to 287 joules per kilogram Kelvin. And that's it. They are asking to me to find the density. So all we have to do, this is a pretty simple uh, exercise is to place these within this equation. So we are going to do it. 1.9 times 10 to the 4 power is going to be equal to the density, which is the unknown, multiplied by 287 times the temperature, which is equal to 203. That means that the the density is equal to 1.9, sorry, 1.9 times 10 to the 4 power divided by 287 times 203. I know that this is pretty simple, but we have to take into account at this point some different units. Why is that? Because the principal problem that we have as people who are trying to solve these kind of exercises is the the units all right because yeah maybe if i solve this i'll have something like i don't know newtons and that would be wrong right so this is a first filter that work as a well once again a filter for us to be sure that the answer is correct So, we are working in international system units, right? That means that at the end I should have kilograms per meters to the third power, you know, because we are talking about density, mass divided by volume. So, if I play with this Bear with me while I write down the the units. If I place if I play with this, this referring to the pressure, this referring to the constant, and this referring to the temperature, I should have at the end this. I know that for some of you this is pretty easy. But as I said before, this is a first filter for us to be sure that the answer is correct. 
So, um, what I want to do first is eliminate these two cubs. All right, because right here I have it multiplicating and right here I have it dividing. Here I have multiplicating and right here I have it dividing. So this is equal to newtons, square meters, joules, kilograms. Now I want to multiplicate the numerator of this division by the denominator of this division. And the other way around for these two, the denominator and the numerator. So this is going to be equal to n per kilograms uh, multiplicated by square meters per joules. And now we have this and this. This is mass, this is meters. This is a unit of mass, this is a unit of, um, yeah, of uh, a measure, a longitude. A dimension so we should be able to transform these two into more basic units right so we're going to do it first for the newtons for when we are talking about a newton we're talking about a force a force because of newton's second law is equal to a mass multiplied by an acceleration, right? That means that that force is going to be equal to a kilogram multiplied by meter per square seconds. That's it. This is a newton. So, kilogram multiplied by meter per square seconds multiplied by a kilogram divided by square meters multiplied by for when we are talking about a joule we should be able to find three different like unknowns work energy and heat which means that a joule is a unit for this tree. It is more simpler for us to say that a joule is simply a newton per meter. All right. That means that a newton, which is kilogram per meter per square second per once again, meter. And that's it. We have everything in terms of mass, time, and um, meters. So, this, what I have right here, is the same thing that I have right here. Right? So, uh, on the upper side is multiplicating, and on the below side is also multiplicating, but also divi dividing, right? So, I can eliminate this two. At the end, this is going to be equal to kilogram divided by square meters multiplied by meters, which is equal to kilograms per meters to the third power. Which means that the result of these equations is going to be okay. So, 1.9 times 10 to the fourth power it's going to be um, divided by 2 287 multiplied by 203 this is equal to 0 0.326 kilograms per years to the third power and right here we have our first answer Now, the part B. At a point in the test section of a supersonic wind tunnel, the pressure and the density of the air are 1,068, sorry, 58 pounds per square feet. And 1.23 times 10 to the minus 3 is log per square per feet to the third power, respectively. 
calculate the temperature at this point. So we're going to do once again, or when we are going to play once again with the the perfect gas equation of a state. Right? So right here I have P which is equal to density R and T. They are giving to me the pressure. So P is equal to 1058 pounds per square feet. and 1.23 times 10 to the minus 3 so 1 point sorry 23 times 10 to the minus 3 power slug multiplicated by sorry divided by square feet and they are asking for the temperature all right so at the end we are using customary base units right use customary base units we're working in feet in pounds right slugs but it's it's the same thing so 100 sorry 1058 is going to be equal to 1.23 times 10 to the minus 3 power multiplicated by the constant r in this case the constant r is given by the other constant 1716 1716 multiplicated by the temperature at the end the temperature is going to be equal to 1058 divided by 1 1.23 times 10 to the minus 3 power multiplicated by 1716 16 <laughs> and once again we're going to make sure that this is correct by playing with the units so the pressure is given by pounds divided by feet square feet square this is divided this by slug by feet square feet to the third power sorry and finally the constant is in feet per pound slug per ranking degrees so feet pound slug ranking degrees all right so as always it's the same thing but playing with other other type of units I'm going to eliminate these two and I'm going to eliminate one of these fits with one of these fits so this transform into a two at the end I'm going to have pounds feet square divided by pounds feet to a second power to get it by ranking degrees the same thing goes for this part. It is going to be equal to pounds multiplied by feet square multiplied by ranking degrees divided by feet square multiplied by pounds. That's it. At the end, we're going to have ranking degrees. 
So this is going to be equal to 1058, 1.23 times 10 to minus 3 power. Hmm. multiplicated by 1716 that's it this is equal to 501.2602 I always write down four significant digits after the comma ranking degrees and this is how we get our second final answer that will be all guys this is how you can solve this exercise